fourth grade math lesson 1.1 model place value relationships. We can describe the value of a digit by writing the number in a place value chart. That's what this is. Then finding the place value of the digit. So we have this number right here. We can write it into the place value chart and if you look at the chart you notice that it's broken into three sections. There's more sections, but this one has three sections, and each section is called a period. This is the period for the ones, this is the period for the thousands, and this is the period for the millions. Our ones has a ones, tens, hundreds, our thousands has a ones, tens, hundreds, and our millions has a ones, tens, hundreds. Do you see they all have ones, tens, and hundreds? When we write the number, into the place value chart, we can see where the 2 is. It's in the 1,000s place. The 2 represents 2,000. Take a look at these models. These are base 10 blocks. One little yellow cube is 1. That's one unit cube. The green one is a long. It's 10 of these little cubes. The blue one is a flat. And it's the same thing as 10 of these longs together, or 100 of the unit cubes. And this large orange one is 1,000 unit cubes. And it's the same thing as 10 of these flats, or 100 of the longs. To represent 2,000, we would have two of these large orange cubes. Our number system is called base 10. 10 unit cubes equals one long 10. 10 green longs is equal to one blue flat, that's 100. 10 blue flats are equal to one large cube, that's 1,000. And each place, place value can only hold one digit. And 10 has two digits, so we use two place values for 10, a ones place and a tens place. So each of these models is 10 times more than the model to its right. So this green long is 10 times more than this unit cube. This blue flat is 10 times more than the green long. And this orange large cube is 10 times more than the blue flat. 1 times 10 is equal to 10. 10 times 10 is equal to 100. And 100 times 10 is equal to 1,000. See how... As we're moving to the left, it's 10 times more than the one to the right. We're going times 10, times 10, times 10. This shows us that the next place value to the left of 1,000 will be times 10. It will be 10,000. See how we have our period of ones, this group of three, and our period of thousands, that's this group of three, and then our period of millions, this group of three, and remember they each have a ones, tens, and hundreds. And each period is separated by a comma. See how we have a comma here and a comma here? So we put a comma between each group of three digits, starting from the right side. We count the digits 1, 2, 3, put a comma, 1, 2, 3, put a comma. And we could keep doing it, going into the billions and trillions. Now, some countries don't use commas, but we, here in the USA, we use commas. So between each period is a comma. So the value of a digit depends on its place value position in the number. Here we have this big long number, and look at the 6. The value of this digit 6 is in the 10 thousands place value. So its value is 60,000. We have a 6 and then a 0, 0, 0, 0, that would be 60,000. We can use a place value chart to compare values. It's telling us to compare the values of the red digits. So here we have a red 2, and here we have a red 2. We write a 5, a 2, a 0, and a 4 in that order in our place value chart, 5, 2, 0, 4. And 
We have a 2, a 7, a 3, a 2, and an 8. We put that into our place value chart. And we can see that this 2 is 2 hundredths. And we can see that this 2 is only 2 tens. The value of the 2 in the first number, which is 5,204, is a 2 hundred. The value of 2 in the next number, which is 27,328, is a 20. And the 2 that is farther to the left, this one, will have a greater value than the 2 that is to the right. And remember, we don't say and when reading whole numbers. You wouldn't say 5,200 and 4. We don't say that. We say 5,204. We do use the word and when reading a fraction or decimal number, and we'll talk about that more in Chapter 6 and Chapter 9. Find the value of the underlined digit. So we look at the digit that's underlined. We see it's the 5, and we can always write this number into a place value chart, couldn't we? We can also look at the digits and start at the 1s, then say tens, then hundreds, then that must be the one thousands, that must be the ten thousands, that must be five hundred thousand. Now look at the underlying digit in this number. It's the zero. What's the value of that zero? What place value is it in? It's in the ones place. That means we have zero ones, it's equal to zero. It represents zero ones. Compare the values of the underlying digits. Here we have 4,000, and here we have 400. And the value of the 4 in 4,000 is 10 times the value of the 4 in 400. It's 10 times more than this number. And look at the 3 here, and look at the 3 here. The value of the 3 in the 300 is 10 times the value of the 3 in the 30. 10 times more means a 0 is put on the right side of the number. See? This one has an extra 0 on the right-hand side because it's 10 times more. And this one has an extra 0 on the right-hand side because it's 10 times more than 400. We can combine place values. Look at this number here. We have a 2 in the 1,000s place and an 8 in the 100s place and a 0 in the 10s and 1s. Well, we know we have 2,800, but we can also combine these two place values together and say we have 2,800s. You might even hear people say 2,800. Now look at this number, we have a 4 in the hundreds place and a 7 in the tens place and zero ones. We can group these two place values together and it's equal to 47 tens. 470 is equal to 47 tens. Look at this number, we have 3 in the ten thousands place, 6 in the one thousands place, and then zero in the hundreds, tens, and ones. That's 36 thousands. But what happens when we go one more place value? Now we have a five in the hundred thousands place, a one in the ten thousands, and then all the other place values are zero. We can look at this as tens, as 51 ten thousands. See how we kind of came across and combined these two, just like we did here. We came across, instead of saying hundreds, we said 47 tens. And the digit zero has no value. We use it as a placeholder to show an empty place value. Here we have five hundreds, zero tens, and seven ones. So there's no tens, there's zero tens. And the zero is just being a placeholder to separate the hundreds from the ones. If the zero isn't used as a placeholder, 
it would look like we have 57. So we need that zero in between them to show that there's no tens, and that puts the five into the hundreds place. So for 10 times greater, here we have a 300 and we have a 30. And the three in the 300 is 10 times greater than the three in the 30. We can actually do 30 times 10 and it's equal to 300. Here we have a 3000 and we have a 300. And the three in the 3000 is 10 times greater than the three in the 300. We can actually do 300 times 10 and it's equal to 3000. Using a place value chart, we write the 300 in the place value chart. We see we have 300s. We write the 3,000 in the place value chart. We see, we see we have three 1,000s. And remember, each time we move to the left, we're multiplying times 10. So this 3, if we multiply it times 10, this will be 10 times greater than that one, and we have 3,000. The next place value to the left is 10 times greater. 10 times more than 3,000 would be 30,000. So if we moved it here, we would multiply 3,000 times 10, we'd have 30,000. We just put another zero at the end. Now take a look at this number. What number would we get if we exchanged the digits in the 100,000s place with the 10,000s place? So the first thing we need to do is identify where the 100,000s place is and where the 10,000s place is. We can write the number into a place value chart, or we can start on the right-hand side and say 1s, 10s, 100s, 1,000s, 10,000s, 100,000s. So we're going to be exchanging the 2 and the 3. So these two digits are going to exchange places. They're going to swap places. What number would we get? We had 234,098, and now we have 324,098. Now using that same number, what, what would we get if we exchanged the digits in the hundred thousands place and the hundreds place. So let's identify where those place values are. We have ones, tens, hundreds, so we've got a zero in the hundreds place. One thousand, ten thousand, hundred thousand. So we're going to be exchanging places with the two and the zero. What number would we get if we exchanged those digits? Well, the number would look like this we'd have a zero on the left-hand side. But when a zero is in the leftmost place value, like here, we do not record it because it's not needed as a placeholder. If the zero is in the middle of the number, yes, we would need it as a placeholder. But when it's over here and we had zero hundred thousands, we don't need to write it. Now we have 34,000. 298. So when you have a very large number and you're trying to figure out the place values, try putting them into a place value chart or try starting on the left hand side and figuring out which place value is the next one to the left. We're going to talk about numbers that are written in standard form and expanded form in our next lesson and I hope I see you there and I hope you're doing well. Bye.